Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be trying on a bit of new makeup. A couple of things were gifted to me and some other things that I purchased probably about three or four weeks ago now. So I've already done all my skincare for the morning and I've also got sunscreen on as well. I put a little bit more of that on probably about a quarter of an hour ago now because it has really beautiful moisturizing properties in it and I really like to keep my under eyes moisturized so those of you that haven't watched my videos before i am 53 years old so i have mature skin and i also have oily skin as well it is winter here now in new zealand so my skin even though it's oily is not as oily as it is in the summertime i've also put primer on and today i use the hourglass one and i probably put that on about 10 minutes ago now. So the foundation that I'm going to use today is one that was gifted to me and this was from Florasis and this arrived about two or three days ago and yesterday afternoon I unpackaged the items because they sent me over quite a few things and today I'm going to be using the foundation and the powder that they gifted to me and I pumped a little bit on the back of my hand and it seemed quite thick and it also seemed quite full coverage and I wasn't too sure how this would work with my skin. I thought it might be a bit thick and I also thought it might slide around my face a bit. So yesterday afternoon I decided to give it a go and I was stunned with the results. This is a beautiful foundation. I would describe it as a soft matte. This comes in 15 shades. It has 30 mils of product and here is the packaging of the foundation. I'm just going to have a look on the website. It is called the Floral Essences Balancing Fitting Foundation. And underneath it says luminous finish and buildable coverage. But I wouldn't really say it has a luminous finish. I would say it's more of a soft matte. But the packaging itself is really beautiful. It's in a resin type of packaging. And inside is where the foundation itself is stored in this beautiful color it has a pull off lid and has a pump dispenser and i'm just going to put a pump on the back of my hand now now i picked up the shade n35 they asked me at florasis what shade would i be they said they were thinking maybe n30 or N35 in the end i decided on the n35 and i'm pleased i did it is a really beautiful match so here is what the foundation looks like. It doesn't run down your hand at all. It is quite thick. And that's why yesterday when I pumped it on the back of my hand, I did think it might be a bit thick looking on the skin, but it's not. It's just absolutely beautiful. So on the Fluorescence website, it says this is balanced to perfection. The buildable foundation created to suit all skin types, a perfect four part balance of oil control, hydration, longevity, and smoothness. You look seamless from morning to night with this shine-free, non-drying foundation. And then it says it is available in the 15 shades. They say it's weightless, breathable, and blendable. They say it's enriched with spherical powder particles and ultra-fine particles as small as 15 nanometers. This foundation adapts and evens the skin tone for a breathable, natural finish even after multiple applications. This is infused with botanical essences and on the bottle is a classic Chinese design. It's the road to balanced skin is like the beauty of an inside painted snuff bottle with intricate designs both inside and out. Your beauty reveals itself from within. Our bottle takes inspiration from these exquisite vessels as a container of nourishing formula and a work of art. So I'm going to apply this foundation just like I did yesterday because I thought it would be a little bit too thick. So I just dot it on and slowly build it up. Now I would say that this foundation is a light medium towards a medium coverage. I initially thought it would probably be a full coverage foundation and that may be the case if you use a brush but this goes on really beautiful and it builds really beautifully as well and I can't really detect much of a fragrance. I don't think it really just sort of smells like makeup so I don't think there is any added fragrance. 
So that's just with one light application. I've still got this much left on my hand. So I'm going to put a little bit more on, just on these areas through here where I think that I need a little bit more coverage. And I just tap that in. And when I put this foundation on, it feels like, keep in mind that it is winter here, so we don't have the humidity like we do in summer. But it almost feels like I really don't need to put any powder on at all. If I was in a rush, then I probably could go without powdering this. This might be different in the summertime, but at the moment, that's what it feels like. But I did use, you say, the powder that they gifted me as well, and that is really beautiful. So I've blended all that in now and I can slightly see a little bit of my redness through here and a little bit of my sunspot but I think the coverage is really lovely. I do find this oxidizes just a little bit so if it's looking a little bit light now that does change just slightly. The N30 would have been far too light for me so I think this is definitely the shade and I like this type of finish. This would be a medium finish and I think it is very natural looking. Yesterday when I wore this it didn't settle into my lines and I find that it blurs my pores to some degree as well and when I go to touch it as I was saying I thought when I first pumped it out of my hand yesterday that it was going to be sort of like a heavy moisturizer but it doesn't feel like that at all it's not drying this would be a soft matte there is a little bit of luminosity on my face but not a huge amount but this works really well with my oily skin I think this is a really flattering foundation so now off camera I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and put some eyeshadow primer on as well and I'll powder a little bit under my eyes I'll also put some concealer on, powder under my eyes, and then I'll be back and I'll show you the powder. So now we'll take a look at the powder that they sent me. This is a loose powder. This also comes in pressed powder form as well. And this is called the Gorgeous Peach Blossom Powder. Now, on their website, it says that this is lightweight and oil controlling. I would agree with that. It is non-drying, I would agree with that as well. It gives an airbrush finish, it is a really gorgeous powder. And also included with this is also a puff as well, which I'll show you and I'll be using today. And if I take a look at the back, this has 8.5 grams of product. And again, just has a really beautiful design on it. With these, you twist them and then open it up. There is a mirror on the inside but I haven't taken the sticker off there yet. And here is the really beautiful colored powder puff. And I do use this instead of a brush and I'll explain why in a minute. And inside you just lift it up and there is a cover in there which I have removed now. Now the reason why I use a powder puff is when you first open this up, this would have to be the most finely milled powder I have ever used. It is beautiful. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but if I tap it here, there is a little bit of mesh there that just covers the powder. And when I tap it, you'll be able to see all that powder come up. It is so finely milled. This is what the powder looks like. I won't swatch it on my hand because this is more of a translucent one but this is it is silky smooth and as I was saying it would have to be the finest powder that I've ever used. So what I do is I take the puff and just press it in there and then what I do and you can probably see a little bit of powder coming up now and then what I do when I use a powder puff, I do use them every now and then, I do the press and roll. You can just tap it on if you want to as well. But if you want that extra bit of blurring with a powder, and it doesn't have to be this one, this is with any powder. I'm just gonna tap in again very lightly. 
if you tap and roll it in or press and roll you do get that extra blurring but the powder is just beautiful and it makes your skin feel just like it does when the powder's on your hand it is silky smooth and my skin feels really silky smooth now as well this is a really gorgeous powder and i love it that it is oil controlling just perfect for my oily skin and again the powder is just so fine it doesn't settle into my lines at all i haven't used this under my eyes i have a feeling that would probably be okay and i will try it at a future date and let you know but the powder itself is just absolutely beautiful so i've just put some bronzer on and that isn't new to me it's a victoria beckham one everything that i'm putting on my face today i will have listed and linked in the description box below so now let's take a look at the ysl the couture mini clutch now when i got this on the packaging it says it's number 300 casbah spices but apparently this one is i think it's called spontane lilies i think that's the name if it's different i will put something down below here but i do think that this one is spontane lilies now i did a review on the other ysl couture mini clutch that was the one on babylon roses and i've now picked up another one as well and i can't remember the name of it but today we're going to have a look at the one that I'm pretty sure is called Spontane Lilies. So it does have the beautiful packaging on the front. It is quite spongy to touch and it's in a faux leather. Really lovely. And here is the colour story of Spontane Lilies. It is really beautiful. I have already used this a couple of times before and I think it's really lovely. So I'm just going to swatch this on the back of my hand so you can take a look. So in this quad you've got one shimmer and you've got the three matte shades. These blend really beautifully. I just love these YSL quads. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I'll just turn my hand a bit so you can have a good look. So I'm going to start off with the lighter shade here. This is Sonia G. This is the classic crease. And these do have a little bit of kick up in the pan. But they go on just really beautifully. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid. I'm just going to put it on how I've worn it the other couple of times that I've used it. And normally I do begin with the lighter shade, if there is a really light one like this, and just pop it all over the lid, through the crease, and up above as well. I'm going to take the Rafa 14 and go into the shade. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. See how pigmented they are. And I only just slightly tap the brush into the powder but these blend really beautifully. I think they are just gorgeous. So I'm just taking that through the crease, just through to the middle here, and I'll take it slightly above. I'm not gonna bring it way up here, but just enough so you can see it when I'm looking forward, because I have hooded eyelids, and if I don't take it up at least a little bit then the eyeshadow tends to get a little bit lost. I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the worker, and I'm going to go into this shade here. And I'm just going to put that over the rest of my lid and through here as well. This might be more of, I'm just thinking, this might be more of a satin shade. And I think it is just a matte one, but goes on like it is a satin it's really beautiful and I'm just going to go back into the darkest shade here just try and pick up a little bit and I'm going to run that under my lower lash line I'm going to take the refer number 28 go into the shade here and I'm just going to pop that over the top and this just gives just a little bit of extra and a little bit of a sparkle through there. It's not chunky, 
and there isn't any fallout. It's just really beautiful and I think just enhances the look. I'm going to take that Rafa 23. I'm just going to go back into the shade here. And I'm going to run a little bit, just my lower lash line through here. And pop a little bit in the inner corner. I'm going to take the Sonji, the pencil one. And I just want to darken it up just a little bit in the outer corner. So I just put on some eyeliner and mascara. Now let's take a look at these Hermes blushes. I picked up two shades, number 47, Rose Amber, and number 58, and that is Rose Kivra. So I have tried one of them when I first got them, but I can't remember which one I tried now. It might have been Rose Amber. I'm not too sure. Of course, it comes in the lovely Hermes packaging, and these do have a scent. And I love the fragrance of the Hermes blushes. I think they are beautiful. So this is number 58. This is Rose Kivra. Absolutely gorgeous shade. And it would actually look really beautiful with this eye look. But let's take a look at the other one. This is Rose Amber. And here is Rose Amber. So I'll just pick up the other one. So this one is Rose Kivra. And this one is Rose Amber. So I'm not too sure which one I'll put on. I think the one that I've already tried was number 40, Rose Amber. So I think today I'm going to try Rose Kivra and see what that looks like. These are supposed to be silky with a luminous finish. And as I was saying, I have tried them already, or at least the shade here, the Rose Amber and they do blend out really beautifully. I will swatch them on the back of my hand so you can take a look. So first of all is Rose Amber. So this is Rose Amber. It does have that luminosity to it. That is a really gorgeous shade. And then next this one is Rose Kivra. So I'll just turn down the lights in front of me and hold them up so you can take a better look at them. So Rose Amber and Rose Kivra. So Rose Kivra is the one that I'm going to try today. So I'm going to take my Chocohodo brush. This is the F03. And they do seem fairly pigmented. So I might just put the excess over on the side. Just until I see how the shade blends out. But beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They blend out like a dream. And I love that fragrance that these blushes have. Really beautiful. And it does have that gorgeous luminosity to it, but it doesn't emphasize my texture in any way. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit more on my brush and just go over the side. They are beautiful. So I love the other shade on too, the Rose Amber. But this... This is a beautiful shade as well. Because I've only got one other Hermes blush and I really love it. And that's more of a, a pinky rose one. That's why I wanted to get a couple more shades. And I think it is really lovely. And for lipstick, I'm going to use, this is the newly released Hermes one. And this is the Lip Enhancer. I really love the packaging. I thought it was really pretty with this really gorgeous like a pastel pink on the bottom i thought it was beautiful the shade in this is rose confetti now these don't have a whole lot of pigment i'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand so that's with a couple of swatches i've actually got a bruise under there so i'll just move it over here a bit so you can see so you have to go over it quite a few times if you want a bit of pigment but if you've watched my other videos, you know that I prefer lipsticks really that only have probably my most favorite are the ones that just have just a little bit amount of pigment. These like the other lipsticks that I absolutely love. I can just pop this in my handbag. It's easy to reapply throughout the day. This does have that distinctive Hermes fragrance and again, just absolutely gorgeous. So I think that the finished look is really pretty. Let's start off with 
this foundation by Fluoresis. It is gorgeous. Now, while doing this video, I've had to go and do a couple of other things. So it's been about 40 minutes since I first put it on. Yesterday, I did try this in the afternoon, but I didn't take it off till probably about 10 or 11 at night. So I had it on about seven hours. It looked exactly like it does when I first put it on. This is a gorgeous foundation. It really took me by surprise. I think it is really flattering on my mature skin. I think this is gorgeous for oily skin. It has those oil control factors in it, but it's not a flat matte. It's a beautiful soft matte, and it does have a little bit of luminosity to it. And the powder as well, so finely milled, goes on beautifully. I think with the puff, it just gives just this real softness over the foundation and just makes the whole look really, really pretty. I love this color story of the YSL clutch. I think it is gorgeous. The Spontane Lilies, really, really beautiful. They go on beautifully and they are just super pretty and they last really well too. The Hermes blushes are beautiful. Today was the first time using the shade in Rose Kivra, but like I said, I had used the other one, Rose Amber, and I did love that shade as well. I think they give a beautiful luminosity. It's not too much. No emphasizing of texture, just give a really healthy look to the cheeks and the Hermes Lip Enhancer is beautiful and now that I've put it on it almost has, it's interesting because it's quite different to how it looks in the bullet. So I think depending on your lip pigment depends how this shade is going to change but this has almost gone towards has a little bit of a lavender look to it and I think it's really gorgeous. So I am thrilled with all of these new makeup. Thank you to Fluoresis for sending me over the many things that you did. The powder and the foundation are only a couple of things. They also sent me an eyeshadow, also a blush and also a face palette as well, as well as an eyebrow pencil and I will use those in upcoming videos. I put that on yesterday too and I really like them. So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed, and I will see you next time. Bye.